Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahama.com. In this beautiful tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to fix compromise site malicious softwares or circumventing I'm not going to teach in the vi this video because circumventing case this is not there. Uh, circumventing is different that we already created video on circumventing. So here you can see the, the site is showing the compromise and the malicious site. Basically the two errors which we'll be talking about is will be the compromise site and the malicious site. So when the site is compromised, malicious softwares or the issue will be there. If the site is having the malicious softwares or virus, then compromise error you'll get. So both the errors approximately, approximately you'll find at the same point. Before I tell you how to fix that, I want to add a laughing part of the Google Ads review system. These all fake reviews they do on the website when your website get disapproved so let me show you how they work so what are the plugins css and js file are there they said they, it's malware it's none of the file is having a malware even css files they said it's a malware here you can see the front end or css element of front end or css they said it's malware almost almost files of the element they said malware but it's not a malware and now I want to add one more funny part that they said even JPG images. If I'll open these files, this is completely a JPG image. This is a PNG image. These are the malware from the point of view of Google review system. So be aware of this fraud Google ads review. Sometimes their team does not want to work, but still they say we are the best in the market. So this is the funny part of the Google ads. Here you can see this mail is from the ads supports at the rate google.com and all these files are perfect and there's no malware still they said it has malware. I want to criticize the Google ads review system that's why I'm adding in my video. So let me take you the first scenario how I fix my client website so first I'll tell you like this campaign is created by my client and uh, like it's still not eligible then i i got hired by him and I, I created ads for him like rahul test after doing a lot of research i found that this was the issue and we fixed it so like many things which need to be evaluated during the fixing so it's all comes based on the experience so exactly i cannot tell you which part you should fix but i'll, I'll give you a basic guidance how you can fix the error so mostly when there's an error of compromise or malicious means there's a virus in the website so here you can read the basic description first then we'll take you the major points how you can fix that so it has malicious softwares or the malwares harm or gain authorized access to the computer for example they have given and then they have wrote a uh, compromise site the site injection script or the code transmit user data with the consent such as installing malware or end user device launching pop-up ads pop-up ads are a kind of malware that a uh, infected website or the website which contain malware has these kinds of issue or it's always redirect to the other website so that is a kind of malware most of our clients face so both the things are interrelated so these two things need the cleaning of the website that is important strengthening security strengthening is different part but the cleaning is more important first step for us is to go to transparency report of google safe browsing you will search on the google safe browsing or google malware scanner then you'll get this website enter your website link and click on search option and if you see any malware issue you'll find in this area it's completely safe for browsing this is green and still the google says it has malware then there's is something which need to be evaluated by expert this is the first step which will tell you whether your website has malware or not for cleaning we have to use uh, uh, you can use a security site net let's assume if if i'll enter my website if i'll click on check it will it will scan and it will tell if the virus is there sometimes what happened the deep virus or malware is there so in that case the security tools could not be able to detect it so you can uh, like the even even the plugin of the security is quite costly even 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 i uh, my client is using this particular plugin but still his website is showing compromise and having malicious files in google ads so what we can do 
we can go to our website and there you'll find WP WordFence. WordFence you need to install. After installing it, you need to add the license. If you need a tutorial of the WordFence, you can try in our YouTube channel or I'll, I'll drop you the link of the WordFence tutorial. Once you install the WordFence, you, you have option of scanning. If you'll click on start scanning, you'll find all the malicious file or the issues in this area you can delete the all the digital file or the malware from your servers and there are like many plugin which will help you to detect the malware but in certain cases such as the sql injection hacking cases you could not do with the help of you cannot fix with the help of the plugins so in that case, you need to hire expert. You can ask us, you can consult us. We will we'll fix your website in case if you fail to do so. Because the two major things which will help you will be the WordFence is the best plugin to scan. It's a free, it's completely free. You just install it and click on a scan. It will tell you the virus. If the virus is not there, you need to consult us because the manual review is required. For for our clients, we, we create ads and it's got approved as I told you that that site was showing compromise and having a malicious uh, softwares but we, we fix everything for them so I highly recommend people to use WordFence in case of your website is having malware or you can use secure to scan your files if, the, if, if this is showing infected then you must use WordFence to clean your website or you need to update all the plugins. What are the plugins we are using inside the website? We need to update it. You need to update your WordPress. Like if the WordPress update is also pending, then you couldn't be able to remove the virus. If you'll update the WordPress, there may be chance that the virus will get removed. Even you should update your theme. Please do not leave any theme. Like if you'll go to appearance theme, here in this area, I can see only one theme, but uh, you might be seeing two or three themes. There may be a hidden files, which is there inside those pending themes. So it's all a part of website. Those themes also have uh, malware or the issues, then it will impact your whole Google ads. And even you need to use secure padlock that you should use SSL on your website before running your Google ads. That is mandatory or else you will face that issue also. You may face the issue because of the padlock also. So for cleaning, you can ask us. So in case if you need any pet support, you can fill our website contact form. We are available 24 into 7 for your support. So I hope you find this video useful. If you did, give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates. Thank you.